Hey kids, welcome to lesson 14 of building an app image scroller using key up and key down. On the last level, we played with the key press event. Let's take a look at some of the other key events. You're going to get a chance to play with key up and key down in this level. Pay attention to the different values event.key for key down and key press. We have a do this, switch the event type to key down or key up. We're going to try out the event, press and hold a key, try the arrow keys, shift, option, alt, and others. For this one, instead of typing out these, I'm gonna switch over to block mode just for this one lesson, and we're gonna see what key down and key up does. We're gonna to go to blocks. For our key press, we are going to go to the first one, key down. I think what happens when we hit key down, as long as the key is down, it'll press and log that letter. For example, if I hit the letter L, when I press L, it'll just type one L and log that. Take my finger off, nothing will happen. Hold it down, again, it'll log it again. Let's see if this hypothesis is correct. Run. Well, it looks like if I hold the key down, it actually keeps on printing. That means a key down, as long as the key down, whatever's happening is gonna keep happening. That's very interesting. Let's try some of the other keys here. It does not look like we can do upper or lower case with this. It does log the shift key though. So many times I hit it, sticky keys come up. Enter key comes up. Everything else looks like it comes up, but I cannot use their alternatives because I cannot use the shift key. Very interesting. Let's try key up now. Hit reset, go from key down to key up, and see what happens there. I think on this one, this time, if I hold down the L, nothing will happen until I let go of that letter, then it'll print it off. Let's see if I'm right this time. Run, L, I'm holding L down right now, nothing. As soon as I let it up, that's when the letter prints. I think if I hold the shift key this time, hitting the shift key just prints or displays the shift Enter, just enter. All the other letters look the same. Again, it does not look like I can do any uppercase or alternative key functions on this. Hmm. That's all code.org really wants from this lesson. Looking back up here to our do this, we switch the event type to key up, down. We tried out different keys, press and held them. And if I held down the L under key down, it kept printing. Under key up, it only printed when I lift the key up. No matter what I did, I could not use any of the alternative keys, so I couldn't hold shift and get the question mark or anything like that. Alt and enter, all displayed, alt or enter. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. That's all we really had to do for this lesson. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.